guest is a very talented young author, very, very clever. She's written her first novel, The Bone Season, which is an international bestseller. It's now available in paperback. Hold on a second. This is a book, everyone. <laughs> I know what you guys know what it is, but these people here are like, is that like a tweet and said papery? <laughs> it's a book. I'm on about page 50 or something, 51. But it's good so far. <laughs> and it comes highly recommended. The lovely Samantha Shannon, everybody. <laughs> Samantha Shannon. Thank you. It's very nice to see you. Thank Congratulations you. on this. It's like huge. It's like Harry Potter's in the dust. Thank you. I mean, I actually, when you pronounced it, you said like the boon season because you have the lovely Scottish accent and it just, it sounded great. Oh, thank you. Can I do the audio book? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, no. We, we have one actually. Bro, well, you've already had it. Who did it? Um, Alana Kerr. She's an Irish. Um, oh, actor. you would have to have a girl do it, I suppose, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. because of, it's mostly a, it's a girl sort of protagonist thing. It is a girl protagonist. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, know, I know about words like protagonist. Yeah. I've read a book or two, yeah. <laughs> no, but this is, it's very, um, it's very accomplished. I mean, when I read it, I was, you know, when I heard about you, because I've started to read it, mm -hmm. and, and then they told me that you were, you're very young, mm -hmm. and you must have written this before you were 20. Uh, I was 19 when I started it. I was still at uni. So. I mean, yeah. it's an astonishing dystopian society, a world which you have created entirely from your imagination. It's like London in 2050 or something. London and Oxford, yeah. Yeah, right. And, and I'm like, wow, this is so... I mean, you must have some... Did you have a very difficult childhood, <laughs> Actually, you no, know, people are always like, did you have a really bad time at university? Because it's like, you know, it's about young people being oppressed by these scary masters and, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I know, I got that. Yeah, yeah. And did you have a terrible time at university? No, no, no. Well, no one was bad to you? No. I, I think you're liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> I think you're just frightened of a lawsuit because you must be making a fortune with this thing. A uh, um, little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and did you, did you uh, what, what did you read then what did you, when you were a youngster? I was just everything, really. I was a Harry Potter? Did you read course, the Harry Potter? Of course, yeah. I read Harry Potter, yeah. And I understand you're a big fan of Harry Potter. Well, it's, uh, you know, as much as a 51 year old man can be. Oh, you can. It's universal. Yeah, I know, but it's something creepy if you go, hey, I'm a Ravenclaw, so shut up. <laughs> <you know? laughs> No, but I have, I have young children and I read them, the yeah. books, of course, or yeah. I've read one of them and then I have to read them again. Yeah, no, I yeah. think you can come back to them all the time. They're amazing. They're so. fantastic. Have you met J.K. Rowling? Oh, I wish I had, but... No, you will. No, I am, I, we have the same publisher, but um, no, it's No, you not. will, because you all get, you'll get to be part of that secret club. You There's and, a club? Yeah. Oh, you don't know about the secret authors club? <laughs> yeah, they all get together and laugh at stupid people. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. It's you, J.K. Rowling, and uh, Salman Rushdie. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be it. <laughs> Have you met him? No, I he's haven't. He's awesome. Really? Yeah, he's really funny. Yeah, no, I've heard a lot about him. Yeah, no, he's lovely. A lot of lovely man. Yeah. Who, do, who do you read then, apart from J.K. Rowling? I mainly read Bloomsbury books because I can get them quite easily just because I'm, I'm at the same publishing house, so I just read any Bloomsbury book that comes near me at the moment. <laughs> You're plugging your publishing house, I'm right? Sorry, I'm sorry, they, they, they do good books. Well, <laughs> all right, but give me an author then. That you um, like. There's a really good author called Sarah J. Maas, who's right. um, a teen author, and she's got a really cool book series about like uh, an assassin, and it's, that's that's really that's teenage cool. assassin. Um, yeah, she's like. Oh, 18. I like that. It's idea. called Throne of Glass. It's really really good. <laughs> don't plug your. I mean, you'll hate. I'm the, sorry. No, I'm sorry. you don't. <laughs> look, let me explain how it works. You come on here, you plug your own book. Okay. You talk about how, my book. You don't talk about how other people's books are awesome unless okay. that unless it's my book. Uh, well, so and, uh, what's your book about? Well, I've written a couple of books. Yeah? Yeah, one's about a dystopian society in London and Oxford and... Uh, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> is, is it going to be a film? Yeah, no, it's been bought by, uh, you know, Andy Serkis, who plays Gollum in Lord of the yes. Rings? Yeah, he has, a, he has a production house, so um, it's called the Imaginarium Studios, and they've bought the rights, which is pretty cool. That is very cool. So yeah. it'll be... Well, don't let them ruin it. No, they won't. No, I have consultation rights, so I'm going to just watch them. All right, good. Well, good for you. It's, uh, I mean, really well done. It's an astonishing, it's just an astonishing piece of work for, not that, of course, people can't write, you know, no, no. when they're young, but it's mm -hmm. just, it's so accomplished and successful. And Thank you. I think you, you, you have to be very careful because as you get older, you'll, you'll get disappointed. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> People are like, oh, I did that really cool thing when I was in my early 20s, and now I'm, you know, writing for a late night TV show. <laughs> I have six more to write, so you, I have... So you're going to do six more? Yeah, it's a seven-book series. So, uh, yeah, a few more to write. <laughs> do you know what happens in the next seven? Six? Some of it, some of it. I mean, I, just... I, I like to leave room for manoeuvre because I think that if you, if, you, if you kind of plan it too much, it's just like following a recipe, so it's just like copying it from your plans to the page. But I like kind of leaving room to... Do you ever find when you write a character that characters kind of go in directions you didn't plan for them? All like the they, time. It's all like the they're time. like real people. They don't behave in the yep. way you would want them to behave. Yeah, no, you, you try and get them to see the dialogue. They don't like it. They move on to something else. Isn't that like astonishing? Yeah. And then you, I got this idea. I wrote a novel once years ago, and I got this idea that one of the characters in the book kind of knew that they were fictional. <laughs> that, that actually sounds really interesting. Yeah, that was like, oh, I, I think this woman's on to me, so I had to get on again. Oh, like, uh, like I would move to another chapter and then she would come up in that chapter and I was like, what Craigie. are you doing here? <laughs> so I'm watching you, Craig. I'm watching yeah, you. I was like, it's crazy. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. It really is an astonishing bit of work. I wish you all the luck in the world Thank and I look you. forward to the next six. Samantha Shannon, everybody. Samantha Shannon. <laughs>